in this lecture we'll discuss the implementation or design of latches by using multiplexer latches means we implement only gated latches as an example i taken d gated latch and uh, i will implement with a 2 by 1 multiplexer okay this latches can be positive level latch negative level latch both i will implement this diagram is with the uh, positive level latch this is for negative level latch you know this 2 by 1 multiplexer contain two data inputs one select input and one data output and this d gated latch should produce two conditions output should be same as input and uh, we should get a hold condition also okay so this is a positive level latch i assumed the select of multiplexer as enabler clock of latch and uh, this multiplexer output data output i assumed as latch output on complemented output i taken and uh, out of two data inputs of multiplexer this data input i connected to latch input d and uh, this output i fed back to another input to get the hold condition so this is the construction now this is post to level latch because here there is no bubble at the enable so when i apply one what will happen see here internally i wrote to 0 1 these are select or enable values so i am applying one means i am selecting this d so this d will go to the output if this d is 0 i will get a zero at output if d is 1 i will get one at the output. similarly when i apply 0 this will be select what i am getting here q q i am getting it means if my next state is q1 plus 1 what will be the output it will be same as uh previous state okay q1 so it means hold is happening now coming to negative level latch here for enable i kept a bubble that's why it is active negative level latch when i apply zero this zero uh, this d will be selected it will go to the output when i apply one it will become hold remember when you apply zero here enable inside also you have to write zero okay right now we'll see how to implement flip flops with multiplexers here i take and d flip flop and uh, i am implementing with 2 uh, by 1 multiplexers to implement latches i just need one 2 by 1 uh, multiplexer but here to implement flip flop i need multiple 2 uh, by 1 multiplexers so here for d i need two 2 by 1 multiplexers and i told you when i in the previous lectures when i compared flip flop with the gated latches by connecting series connecting of two gated latches will work as a flip flop so to implement this uh, flip flop using multiplexer i taken here negative level latch and here i taken positive level latch i connected in series so negative level this is bubble okay so when i apply a clock 0 this 0 d will be selected it will go to this output and this clock 0 is coming here so here i wrote 0 so this will be selected this will go to output it means x is d and q is x ultimately q become d we are getting same output when i apply clock 0 and when i apply clock one circuit become hold so it is working as a d flip flop okay see here the output of first this multiplexer we have to connect as input to second multiplexer and this clock is common to both but one of the clock should be should contain bubble okay we can construct this uh, flip flop in another way also see here here i taken first pause to level latch then negative level latch but previously i taken negative level first then positive level okay 
so here according to this we have to change the internal values so when I apply clock 1 this D will be selected and I will get final output at Q but when I apply clock 0 it will become hold okay so according to the circuit we have to change this uh, clock bubble places and we have to change internal values of clock okay then only we can get output properly okay now we'll see how to implement T flip flop by using multiplexers here I need uh, three 2 by 1 multiplexers if I take a complemented input but if I take uncomplemented input then I need 4 2 by 1 multiplexers ok so the easiest way to implement this D flip flop we already know how to implement D flip flop ok take that D flip flop diagram what is the D flip flop diagram this whole diagram here I represented as this box this box okay we know how to convert to D flip-flop into T this is the equation when we convert D flip-flop into T so what I am getting for D T XR Q1 I will connect to T and Q1 to XR that XR output I will give to T D so this whole circuit now it will become as T flip-flop okay and we know how to implement this XR gate with multiplexer I implemented and this D is D only if you want to replace this D with uh, multiplexers you can draw this diagram you can replace this uh, box with uh, this diagram now you will get 3 2 by 1 multiplexers and that uh, 3 2 by 1 multiplexer together will become a T flip flop here I take an T bar directly if you want to take T only you can use uh, inverter here that inverter also you can implement with multiplexer in that case you will get 4 ok so this is uh, T flip flop with multiplexers so here I give a true table also for this you can observe ok in this lecture we will see how to implement JK flip flop using 2 by 1 multiplexers I need 6 2 by 1 multiplexers the simplest way is we know how to implement D flip flop using multiplexer take the diagram and we know how to convert to this uh, D flip flop into JK this is the equation ok so for this D connect that equation now implement this inverter with max 2 by 1 this 2 and gates with 2 by 1 this R gate also with 2 by 1 so this is 1 2 by 1 this is second third four and it need to total 6 2 by 1 multiplexers we can get okay this is the easiest way of implementation this box contain 2 2 by 1 multiplexers because we know how to implement D so this is the D that whole box indicates this diagram okay now we'll see how to implement SR flip flop using 2 by 1 multiplexers I need 5 2 by 1 multiplexers you know how to implement D flip flop take the D flip flop it will contain 2 2 by 1 multiplexers we know and uh, we know how to convert to D into SR okay so this is the equation so connect that to equation to this D now replace this uh, not gate with multiplexer and gate with multiplexer or gate with multiplexer total three multiplexers and uh, this D flip flop contain two multiplexer total five multiplexers so for uh, not gate and gate or gate I given two tables here ok so this D flip flop contain two multiplexers this is the equivalent diagram that box is this diagram ok so this is the easiest way of implementing SR flip-flop using 2 by 1 multiplexers. Okay.